ZS Seam from Zep Solar offers the industry's only auto grounding solution for standing seam metal roof installations. It eliminates the need for mounting rails, requires very few parts, and allows for increased airflow beneath the PV array for better PV module performance. This video introduces ZS Seam and illustrates its method of installation. ZS Seam utilizes ZEP compatible PV modules that are manufactured with ZEP Solar's innovative ZEP Groove frame design and are designed to receive ZEP system hardware that locks into the ZEP Groove. Visit zepsolar.com for a list of ZEP compatible PV module manufacturers. The core components of ZS Seam include the seam clamp, the leveling foot, the array skirt, the interlock, and the ground zep. The upper portion of the leveling foot contains a rocket, which has a key side and a tongue side. The key side rocks into the zep groove and the tongue side receives the zep groove of an adjoining PV module. Interlocks contain zeps, which are also designed to mate with zep grooves. Once the PV array mounting area has been established, the perimeter of the array and the rafter layout are marked with chalk lines. The first row of seam clamps is then installed. Remaining seam clamps are then laid out according to north-south spacing specifications found in the ZS Seam installation manual, which can be downloaded from the ZS Seam product page of the ZEP Solar website. Next, the first two leveling feet are installed at opposite corners of the front row with their key sides facing downward. A leveling foot is installed by placing it squarely on the seam clamp and securing it with a machine screw. By pulling a string line from corner to corner, proper alignment of the remaining leveling feet is assured. Once the first row of leveling feet is installed, the first two array skirts are coupled together with an interlock and an interlock spacer. The interlock is installed by inserting its key side into the ZEP groove of the array skirt at a 15 degree angle and then rotating the ZEPs 90 degrees with the ZEP tool so that the timing marks of the tool align with the marks on the top surface of the interlock. Once the first two array skirts are mated, they are rocked onto the tongue side of the leveling feet rockets at the west end of the array, and jams are inserted into the tops of the rockets to prevent the array skirt from rotating out. Next, the third array skirt is rocked onto the leveling foot, an interlock is installed at the seam, and the jams are inserted as before. This process is then repeated for the fourth array skirt. The array skirt is finished by attaching the array skirt end caps to the exposed edges of skirt using the two provided screws. Once all of the array skirts have been installed, the first ZEP compatible PV module is dropped into place at the lower corner of the array. This is done by resting the ZEP groove on the top of the tongue side of the leveling foot rocket and rotating downward. A leveling foot is then mated to the upper edge of the module by rocking the key side of its rocket into the module's ZEP groove. Then the leveling foot base is secured to the corresponding seam clamp using a machine screw as before. This is then repeated for subsequent modules and interlocks are installed along the upper edge between each module. This process is repeated for subsequent rows. Finally, a ground zep is installed at the perimeter of the array to receive the array's equipment grounding conductor. This completes the mechanical installation of a ZS Seam PV array. For full instructions and more information on ZEP Solar, visit zepsolar.com.